until here. Yep. Oh, see <laughs> it's so perfect. Yes. This is yeah. something we call performance. Yes. Yes. Now I want to show you flyback. So in general, yeah. most of the chronograph that you see in the market, very rarely you will find. Hey everyone and welcome back. So guys, it has been a while since we did the last shopping trip across the malls of Dubai. In today's video, we finally continue that and check out a few of my favorite brands, what they have in stock and I'm going to show you my favorite picks of those brands. So lean back, take a coffee and enjoy. The first store we are visiting is Hublot. A brand with a lot of controversy, people either hate or love them. I might be a bit neutral as I think they have some great designs and bring a lot of innovation to the market. My favorite watch is still the classic Fusion 42mm green. I had the chance to buy this watch a bit more than a year ago for a very attractive price. But I missed the opportunity. I still regret this and always gravitate towards this model. What currently holds me back is the basic movement inside and the fact that I would now have to pay around $2000 more. I somehow can't bring myself to pull the trigger. This model currently costs around $7800 in Dubai, what is of course a lot of money. Then we have the Hublot Big Bang Integral, a very nice sporty watch that is made out of titanium, has an integrated bracelet design, a skeletonized dial, 72 hours of power reserve, a chronograph function and comes at a whopping $20,900 price tag. Maybe this is the best watch you can buy right now at Hublot if you have the bucks. The size is 42 millimeters. Moving on to Lange und Söhne, for me the best watchmaker in the world and the uh, Odysseus or Odysseus is one of my absolute dream watches. Unfortunately the stainless steel model is not available for new customers. So let us have a look at this beautiful datograph in rose gold with a reverse panda dial. I could imagine this model won't be available for long and will soon be a wishlist piece. The finishing and craftsmanship in every detail is amazing. Have a look at how perfectly it works. The watch comes at $82,100. Oh. <laughs> it's so perfect. Yes. This is yeah. something we call performance. Yes. yes. Now I want to show you flyback. So in general, yeah. most of the chronograph that you see in the market, very rarely you will find flyback chronograph. So Normally you can stop the chronograph, reset, yeah. and if you want to recalculate something, you restart. Yes. But what we can do here, it, we can fly back with this push button. So when I press this button, yep. the hands will go back to 12 and restart it instantly. Oh yeah. The hand is very steady. Our yeah. push buttons are tested 50,000 times before okay. it comes out. Very so nice. The color combination is very appealing. I personally like this combination very mm -hmm. much. And if you see the normal second hand of the watch, yeah. the minute front of the chronograph and the big date, mm -hmm. it forms a proper triangle. So it's yeah. a very harmonious look. Time for some more affordable pieces again. So we have a look at the Omega Boutique. The current highlight besides the new Speedmaster is the Seamaster No Time to Die watch or the Bond watch. A great piece Omega created, a great 2 titanium watch, alloy bezel insert filled with loom, NATO strap or retro design bracelet makes this watch a nice special agent accessory. I especially like the color theme which makes this one the best looking Seamaster in my view. With the bracelet this watch will set you back around $9500. A heavy price tag but definitely a beautiful and very special piece. Now we are at Gege Le Coult, another brand I am gravitating towards for a while now. If I should add a real dress watch to my collection, 
I think it will be the reversal. The watch is available in different sizes and different variations. My favorite is the simple single phase small seconds on brown leather strap. JLC recently introduced a green version of it, which looks nice as well. Still for me it would be the silver dial on brown leather strap. And by the way, this silver dial brown strap is also a lot easier to get than the recently introduced green version. I'm just not sure if I should go for the medium or the big size. I think I have to spend some more time in the boutique and try it with some different outfits. The feature to flip the watch case around is always fun and the plain back of the watch works well for a personal engraving. Unfortunately you will get no discounts from JLC but maybe a separate strap could be possible. The Burgundy one looks definitely great as well. A few more wrist shots. So what do you think guys? Green or silver dial? Medium or big size for me? Let me know your opinion in the comments. The watch will set you back around $6,800. Moving on, we have one of the underdog watchmakers right now, Bulgari. The Octo Finissimo is actually a very nice piece, from a brand with a long history and experience in watchmaking. You can get this watch with an integrated bracelet, a blue sunburst dial, an incredible thin case and a beautiful looking movement at the boutique quite easily. So in case a blue dial steel sports watch is your dream, definitely give it a try. For me the case shape just doesn't work on the wrist. I don't know why, but it doesn't feel comfortable. I guess I have to skip this watch, besides the fact that it makes everything right. The watch will set you back around $15,000. Next we have Cartier, one of the top selling watch brands worldwide that attracts with beautiful classic designs, a super strong brand and not too overpriced watches. From the Cartier lineup, my favorite product line is the Cartier Santos de Cartier. At the boutique we find a large version with the dark grey dial and the medium version with the white dial. I think the large one looks more sporty, while the medium size looks more classy and dressy. Definitely a tough decision to make over here, but I think in the end I would decide for the large version and go with a more sporty piece. The blue dial was unfortunately not available. The medium size cost $6,800 and the large one will set you back $7,850. And now we are at Zenith, the beloved brand of many watch enthusiasts. Great watches with amazing movements and fantastic innovation. A brand for everyone who appreciates the craftsmanship of fine watchmaking from a company that created fantastic movements of highest standards over the decades and even delivered the first movements for the Rolex Daytona. Earlier this year, Zenith launched the Chronomaster Sport, a fantastic watch that does everything right. You get a one tenth of a second chronograph, an automatic winding movement, finishing to highest standards, ceramic bezel, 100 meters of water resistance and all of that packed into a timeless steel sports watch design. So it couldn't get a lot better and that's why the Chronomaster Sport is one of my favorite watches right now. It is available with a black or white dial. I think the black dial looks better on the bracelet, but with a strap the white dial really pops. The watch currently costs around $10,500.
Besides the Chrono Master Sport, I'm also a big fan of the DeFi lineup, as I also own a DeFi Classic myself. And yeah, especially as I said, the DeFi Classic is a very nice, maybe a mixture of a dress and sports watch with great dimensions. I would always opt for the skeleton eye style, as this is some kind of the signature feature of the DeFi. Also, the ceramic version looks great in my view. This carbon version is also super, super cool. but you could also go with the classic titanium and the blue dial combination. So this DeFi series, I guess, delivers a package for pretty much everyone out there. And the DeFi skeleton on the black rubber strap, also a beautiful combination. I still think I have to get this bloody expensive rubber strap for my personal DeFi, which is currently on the titanium bracelet. And last but not least, we are going to check out Rolex, so to see what we can find over here. Before I am going to show you all the watches we can find at the Rolex store, please have a look in the video description in which I put you some links of Chronext in case you are interested in one of those watches. With the code, the Dubai Expat, you can get a nice discount on top. So have a look as Chronex is one of the best pre-owned watch dealers that you can find globally. So this store is actually a mixed brand store, but has quite a big part of the store reserved for Rolex. In the display we can unfortunately only find Datejust and Daydate models. A few two-tone watches without diamonds, but only on Oyster bracelet and the ones without diamonds are also without the beautiful fluted bezel. Yeah. As the demand for Rolex is so strong, this is the typical picture that you will face here in Dubai. And with that guys, we are at the end of my first part of the watch shopping trip. I hope you got some inspiration for a lot of beautiful watches that you can still find at the malls without a wish or waiting list. If you are interested, check out the links in the video description. See you in part 2, stay healthy, thank you for watching and bye bye.